So about a month ago, I made a video on an extension made by Juju Adams for Game Maker Studio 2.3, which served the purpose of converting a struct into a JSON format and back again. And because this is just how it goes sometimes in the world of game engines, there is now official functionality in Game Maker Studio itself to do this very same thing. If you haven't seen the video I made on Snap, it's still worth a watch, I like to think. I'll have a link to it on screen right now. If you want to refresh around what it does, it converts data stored in struct slash arrays to and from JSON, hence the name struct and array parser, snap. The example I had looked something like this. This is some data on some made up NPCs, which is stored in a combination of structs and arrays. If I were to look at the code where I, um, I don't think that's the code. If I were to look at the code where I, where I wrote this, you can see here the struct is being created. I guess I'll minimize this and make the font a little bigger. There is the ability to save this to and from a string containing JSON. And now with Game Maker Studio 2.1, 2.3.1, I tried. There is official support for doing this without needing a JSON library. So I am going to save as a copy. JSON parse and stringify is what it is called. These functions sort of supersede the old DS map encode and decode functions. You can still use DS maps and DS lists for this kind of thing, but those are kind of clunky. You have to mark DS maps as maps and DS lists as lists if you wanted them to be properly serialized. Obviously, you had to manually destroy the root DS map when you were finished with it if you didn't want a memory leak or something like that. They still have their uses, but at this point, structs and arrays are kind of a better version of what DS maps and DS lists used to be. Hey. Let me close this, this room tab to make a little more space. So the same way that you would say snap from JSON right now to load some struct data from a, uh, a JSON string, you can now simply say J JSON parse the JSON string and you will get the same result. Uh, if I comment out this, if I comment out this, uh, the starter struct variable, you can see you get the same thing. If I were to, let's say, save this to a file, where are some of the other things you might do here? Uh, draw if you hit the space bar. Let's save this to a file. Uh, you can say snap to JSON. You can change that to JSON. JSON stringify, which is, uh, for the record, a hilarious name for an operation, which is actually what the JavaScript people call um, saving an object as JSON, which I think is amazing. Anyway, I currently have it showing up as a debug message in the console down here. I think I will do what I was avoiding doing in the uh, initial video on this and save it to an actual file. Uh, let's say... This ought to do it. This ought to save the JSON as a file. JSON to a file, rather. And file text write string is missing an argument which is the actual file name. For some reason, today when I open GameMaker, the um, local variables are not being colored as yellow in the IDE, and I don't know why. Anyway, we have this, we can hit the space bar. Let me just go to wherever this project is being stored on my, on my here computer, wherever that is. Obviously, you can stick this wherever you want. I'm just gonna stick it in my included files. It's called potjub. JSON or something like that, and we can um, we can go back to the create event, and instead of instead of doing it manually, we can load it from a file like this. You can see the data is here. If you don't believe me that the data is actually being loaded from the file, I suppose I might as well uh, open open the original file and mess with it and do different things whenever in the game, and you will be able to see that it is changing every time I I uh, save it and reload it. So I guess I can just change all the names or something. All the uh, all these people's names have been changed, and now when I run the game, you will see that it is reflected in the in the JSON that is uh, loaded into the game as the struct. So that's all there really is to this. I just wanted to make a little update video to the struct and array parser thing, just so that people know that this is now an official part of Game Maker that they can use if they want. Um, I am going to let's see, look through this. 
there is still a use for, for the struct and array parser. It does not only deal with JSON, it also deals with other file formats such as XML, which is basically a messier version of JSON, or CSV, which is uh, essentially a spreadsheet table, as well as some other things. So you can still use this if you want. As usual, I'll have links to this in the video description and whatever. But when it comes to specifically JSON, there are now functions built into GameMaker that will do the same thing. And they will probably be somewhat faster than the, uh, the scripts here because the, the game maker functions will work in compiled code instead of um, instead of Gmail, which is interpreted and slower. Hey. Okay, that's it. If you want the code for this, there's not a ton of code here, but uh, there will be a link to a GitHub in the video description. If I can if I can find the commit box and click on it so that I can type things into it. Um, I have a Patreon, so if you want to contribute towards these videos being made, there are links to that in all the places where Patreon links usually go. Otherwise, I hope you all found that useful, and I will see you all later. Special thanks to Edward Holt, Indie Punch, Jason, and Zenith for supporting these videos. If you want your name in the credits or to hear yourself shouted out at the end, head over to the Patreon page in the video description to join the fun.